The Carolina Hurricanes are back in action tonight to take on the division rival Columbus Blue Jackets in what is set to be Jack Drury's 100th career NHL game. Can the Hurricanes avoid the trap game? We discuss that in this episode of Locked on Hurricanes. Your Locked on Hurricanes, your daily podcast on the Carolina Hurricanes. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey there, Kaniacs. I'm your host, Jared Ellison. You're listening to Locked On Hurricanes on the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. And as always, thank you for making Locked On Hurricanes your first listen of this a Thursday and today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Now tonight, the Carolina Hurricanes are back in action. They're taking on the division opponent, Columbus Blue Jackets, and I was talking about this a bit yesterday, uh, but we'll talk about it in full today. Uh, they really need to avoid the trap game here tonight. That is my biggest thing with this game. Uh, yes, Columbus is not a good team. They are one of the bottom teams in the league. They are the bottom team in the Metro, but as I have said countless times over the years, uh, that really doesn't mean a whole lot when Metro teams are playing each other because they always play each other that much tougher and the standings don't really matter a whole lot going into them because we've seen many times in these matchups anything can and will happen. You remember a couple years ago, uh, the Hurricanes were down like 4 nothing, uh against Columbus on New Year's Day, came back and won 7-4. to four. It, You know, like anything can happen when Metro teams play each other. So that is something here that the Hurricanes uh, need to be mindful of. And I know they will be, um, of course. And, you know, this is the second consecutive uh, leap year day, leap day that the Hurricanes are playing on, uh, obviously, back in, God, when was the last one, 2020? Uh, man, it's been a minute, uh, obviously. Um, but yes, the second consecutive leap year, leap day, they are playing on, and this is only the fifth time in franchise history that the Hurricanes have played on a leap year day, <laughs> um, which is crazy to think about. You know, you go back to, all the time in Hartford and everything is wild. Obviously, leap year only happens four years, so it's not you know super surprising. Uh, but yeah, a uh, little fun stat there for the day. Uh, them playing on their second consecutive uh, leap year day uh, and their fifth in franchise history. Uh, obviously, the Hurricanes are coming off of that ugly win against Minnesota uh, the other night, where Steph Nazen scored the game winning goal with his face and they really didn't have a great game all together but they were able to find a way and get the win and that's the kind of thing that we want to see at this time of the year you know whether the wins are pretty or not you know finding a way to get the win that's what we're wanting to see and they are going to be in a prime position do it columbus is in the second half of a back-to-back -back in this game they're coming off of a loss against uh, the New York Rangers uh, where they lost four to one. So that's something that the Hurricanes are going to want to take advantage of. You know, heck, Buffalo, uh, you know, took advantage of the Hurricanes uh, being in the second half of a back to back. Uh, and their third game in four nights, you know, at that particular point, you know. So it's been done to them and they need to do it to Columbus tonight, really come out hard and. You know, they they have that yeah, extra day of rest. Yeah, they're in Columbus practicing yesterday. Uh, so they're already there. It wasn't like they had to you know worry about you know a day of travel or anything like that. Like, no, they're already there doing what they need to do. So I think that that is going to be something that uh, they really need to take advantage of. The Hurricanes beat Columbus uh, back on November 26th, 3-2. 
that game saw Andrei Sveshnikov get his first goal of the season. And you imagine the Hurricanes are also going to have a little bit of, of fire under them. Uh, another reason or reasons to get the win tonight. Uh, this is uh, set to be Jack Drew's 100th career NHL game. So obviously you're going to be wanting to get the win for him, you know, in, you know, a milestone game for him. Obviously, he's going to want to go out there, have a good game. He's had a pretty good season, even if it isn't necessarily showing up on the score sheet. He's been doing everything right, playing really good defensively and doing what he needs to do, and which is great for him. You know, obviously, at the end of last season, you know, there was a lot of trade talk about him because he had evidently requested one. So, you know, for him to have come out, you know, had the season that he's had, uh, it being really good, even frustrating at times with the puck not going in the back of the net, but he's had a really good season. So for him to get a win in his hundredth game, that's going to be really cool. And then obviously, you know, Trip Tracy you know, being uncle and whatnot, yeah, that's going to be a nice little family moment there for him. Uh, and then also uh, Spencer Martin, uh, are we going to see him tonight? That is going to be very interesting, obviously, rotation-wise, as we would. Uh, but we'll know when we know. He's obviously claimed off of waivers uh, from uh, by the Hurricanes from Columbus. Uh, and he has played really stinking well for the Hurricanes in what limited action he has seen. He is 3-0-1 as a Hurricane, point, posting a point nine two five save percentage uh again he's been really good for the hurricanes uh i think yeah taking a lot of folks by surprise by just how good he has played uh i i along with a lot of other people just kind of saw it as a move kind of for the sake of making a move and we weren't really ever going to see him aside from you know an odd appearance here and there uh but no he's came in and he's played really well obviously Again, he has not played a whole lot for the Hurricanes, so I don't really know, you know, how that is going to affect things long term. We'll talk about that in another episode. Um, but yeah, I think you know, you definitely could see a potential revenge game for him. You know, he's things are clicking well for him with the Hurricanes. I said before that I like that he has that chip on his shoulder still is saying that he has a lot to prove. I really like that. Uh, and I think, you know, for him, you know, to be able to go out against his former team and go out and have a good game. I think that's going to be great for his confidence going forward, going down this stretch of the back half of the season and into the playoffs. I think that's going to be really good uh, for him. It should he get the start today, obviously it could totally be, Piotr Kochekov, but honestly, I don't see a reason why they shouldn't go with Spencer Martin here uh, because, again, in what action he has seen, he has played well. He hasn't given them a reason not to. Uh, so that's the thing. He hasn't given them a reason not to play him. So I don't see why they wouldn't, but it's like, oh, okay, he's playing good. All right, let's go back to the regular rotation. You know, he, he can handle it. And the thing is, you're going against a team like Columbus, who, again, on paper, you know, they are not a good team. And, you know, this much like, you know, when we we're uh, in the Arizona Vegas back to backs, how we thought it'd be Martin against Arizona and Kochekov against Vegas ended up being the inverse of that. And he played really well against Vegas. Um, so, he again can play. He's played good against Boston, you know, uh, as well. He's gotten these wins for the Hurricanes. Again, very limited, three zero and one. It's not like he's played you know a whole bunch of hockey for the Hurricanes. But again, I, I don't see why you wouldn't go with him tonight. He's played well. You're not going against you know like Vancouver or anything like that. But even if you were, Martin has shown that you know he can handle you know, top tier opponent. So again, I honestly think, you know, they should go with Spencer Martin tonight. Um, obviously, you know, going into this game, Jacob Slavin is obviously uh, coming off of tying Justin Falk uh, 
for most points by a defenseman in franchise history at 258. Forgot to mention the point total uh, the other day, so do apologize for that. But, you know, is this a night where he gets, you know, that record? I don't know. Uh, I said once he tied it, I think, you know, he could be sitting at that for a little while just because, again, Jacob Slavin is not a points guy. He is not an offensive defenseman. So he probably could sit at 258 for a while. Or, you know, again, you are going against a team like Columbus. This could be an opportunity for a guy that doesn't really put up a whole lot of points. You know, put up some points. Uh, Obviously, again, that is not his game. So, yeah, I'm not expecting him to go out and have a hat trick or anything. Um, But, yeah, you, you could see it tonight. I'm not putting my money on it by any means. Uh, just because, again, we know his game. Uh, but I, there is a, still a lot more to dive in with this game, and we will do that right after this quick break, folks. Now, folks, we've talked a lot about game time here on the show, and we will continue to talk about it for all of you new folks. Game time, of course, is the place where we love to buy our tickets for our events because you shouldn't have to buy buy ticket you shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets for your next big event game time is the fast and easy way to buy all of the tickets for your, all of the sports music comedy and theater events near you with killer last minute deals all in prices views from your seat and their best price guarantee game time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets i've said before how when me and my friend went to aw collision and uh greensboro uh a while back we used game time and our favorite part of game time was definitely being able to see our seats on the app uh we do not like getting surprised by obstructed views or anything like that no one does so that was my personal favorite thing about game time you know and we were able to go around all around uh greensboro coliseum and find where we wanted to sit we got great seats down in the lower bowl looking directly at the ring directly at the ramp and it was fantastic and we had a great time and game time has deals on tickets right up to the start of the event and even an hour after it starts it's the best place to find last minute seats because you don't always know if you're going to be able to make it to an event you don't know if you're gonna have work or something else going on then all of a sudden you don't and you want to go to that Hurricanes game or that concert or whatever game time has you covered. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account and use code locked on for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply again, create an account and redeem code locked on. That's L O C K E D O N for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed now looking at columbus tonight you know the hurt again we've talked a lot about you know how they are struggling they are the last team in the metro and one of the bottom teams in the nhl so this is definitely a trap game for the hurricanes and the hurricanes need to avoid that but one thing working in the hurricanes favor is that they have gotten points in 12 of their last 13 road games they're 10, 1, and 2 over that span. That dates back to, I believe, December 12th. Uh, so, yeah, they are playing really good on the road. And that is something that should continue in this game tonight. It absolutely should. Uh, and, yeah, you look at Columbus. Again, they are coming into the second game of a back-to-back with that 4-1 loss to the rangers um they have also allowed the most goals in the eastern conference as of recording that being uh 209 goals um so much like in that game against minnesota where i said the hurricanes power play really needed to take advantage of how the wild had or i believe still have the worst penalty killing in the western conference this is going to be something where the Hurricanes need to take advantage of that. Like, oh, you know, they are not really good at stopping goals. Okay, let's you know really 
you know, put our best foot forward down there, you know, in a night where, you know, I, you know, sometimes get frustrated with how many shots the Hurricanes put on goal, uh, where it seems like they're just using the uh, logo in the center of the um, goalie's jersey as a target. Tonight's a night where I really think they need to be putting a lot of shots on goal uh, because that is a weakness for the Blue Jackets. And obviously, you know, they allow a bunch of goals. Let's put a bunch of shots on them tonight. With that, uh, they do need to be mindful of the shots they are selecting. Um because like I said, let's not use the logo in the middle of the jersey as a target uh, and make him look, uh, whoever gets to start for Columbus tonight, make him look like, you know, a Vesna winning goalie. Let's not do that tonight. Um, yeah, be smart in the shots they are taking. But I feel like this is a night where they're going to want to rack up uh, the shots. I really think so because it's something that could really help them uh, long uh, in this game. Again, Columbus is also last in the Metro and it being a Metro matchup, it's obviously going to be a bit of a tough game, probably a little chippy and stuff like that. But you, you go into these Metro division matchups expecting that. Um, and another thing you know, with Columbus is that they, been pretty hurt all season uh to key players so that's another thing that is factoring into them having the season that they're having of just being hurt uh you know we've seen it gosh countless times across sports you know not just hockey of you know a team you know, is looking to make a step in one direction they just stay hurt and they can't get going and that's kind of what's been going on for columbus this year uh they've just been hurt and that's obviously something that, you know, the Hurricanes, you know, going in like, OK, you know, they aren't going to have necessarily the best team out there. So, again, let's take advantage of that. And again, Spencer Martin revenge game. Let's see it tonight. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. But, yeah, you, you just go into this game tonight. This is one that the Hurricanes absolutely should win. This should be one where the Hurricanes, you know, it should look like that score against the Rangers. It should be 4-1, 5-1. Yeah, it should be something like that. This shouldn't be a close game. Uh, but at the end of the day, again, Metro teams are Metro teams. They play each other tough. So the Hurricanes should win this game. They are a better team in every way. Uh, and... Yeah, they should be able to get down there, put up the goals, um, and shut down um, Columbus's offense um, in this game. You know, we, we all know how good the Hurricanes play defensively, uh, so that shouldn't be an issue for them tonight. Yeah, they had that extra day in between. Columbus is going to be tired. That's going to be yet another weakness for the Hurricanes to take advantage of. So. You know, you have a guy like Sebastian Ajo that's having a really good season. Seth Jarvis, he's been playing really good. Jordan Martin, really ever since 2024 started, he's been really good for them. You know, there's a lot of guys on the Hurricanes right now that are poised and, you know, just with the year they've been having, they could totally, you know, uh, take over this game. And I... We'll just have to wait and see. I don't want to say Sebastian Ajo is totally going to take over this game or anything like that because we've seen again. I cannot stress it enough. We've seen it in the past with Metro teams playing each other. That's not always going to be a guarantee. But I do want to dive into the keys to tonight's game. We've kind of talked a little bit about them already, and we will do that right after this quick break, folks. Now, folks, it is past the halfway point of the season but regardless of where the hurricanes are in the current standings i want to remind you that you could win big by playing daily fantasy hockey on sleeper the official daily fantasy app of the locked on nhl network sleeper is our number one choice for daily fantasy sports and especially 
daily fantasy hockey because with Sleeper, you can win a hundred times your cash in daily fantasy hockey contest. All you have to do is pick whether studs like Smash Naho or uh, Seth Jarvis or Piotr Kochekov or anyone across the league will record more or less their sleeper projections for things like goals, assists, saves, plus minus, and more in a given game. To win a hundred times bet on sleeper, you need to correctly predict the outcome of eight player stats. You heard me, Canes fans. You can win a hundred times your money playing daily fantasy hockey on sleeper. So start paying attention and nail your picks so you can start winning big. Use promo code locked on NHL and you'll get up to a hundred dollar match on your first deposit. Terms and conditions apply. That's code locked on NHL. See sleepers terms of use for details and locational availability. Now, diving into the keys for tonight's game again, the biggest one I have for tonight's game is do not fall victim to the trap game. This is one that they could easily just look by uh, and just focus on whoever they have next and just by, okay, whatever. Yeah, it's Columbus. Should be an easy win. And in theory, it should be an easy win. But you can't have that mindset going in. You need to know, like, hey, you know, this, they're going to come out, try to play spoiler because they don't have anything to play for. Yeah, they're not making the playoffs. Uh, so, you know, they're going to be looking to ruin the Hurricanes night. That's simply what they're going to be doing. And the Hurricanes need to be prepared for that. Do not fall victim to the trap game. You know, guys need to be on, uh, on their a game, you know, not you know, just going through the motions out there or anything like that. They need to be ready for Columbus to come out and, come out, you know, ready to play, you know, again, they are coming into the second half of a back to back. So we know how fast the hurricanes can play. That's something they need to really lean into tonight uh, because Columbus is going to be tired. And, you know, if it is Spencer Martin in the net tonight, support the man, you know, let's, you know, Get him that revenge game. And of course, you know, if it's Piotr Kochekov in that too, you know, support him as well. But especially Spencer Martin, like, let's get him that win against his former team. You know, you always want to see that, you know, especially uh, coming off of waivers and all that and him having things to prove. Let him go out there and just play, just play hockey. Like, you know, go out there and have himself a game, you know, support him. That's going to be important tonight another thing is that they do while you know columbus again yeah has not been great they do need to be mindful of uh johnny gaudreau uh he's been really good uh since the all-star break having uh 10 points in his last eight so be mindful of him uh he's kind of gonna be you know, their biggest threat uh out there tonight so be mindful uh you know some of their key players that are gonna be out there of course but honestly, you know, going into this game, my biggest thing again is just don't fall into the trap game. That is my biggest thing. Like, you know what you need to do in this game. Be aware, be awake. Uh, you know, because we've seen many times before where the Hurricanes struggle to wake up in a game and they, you know, don't play the full 60. They only play, you know, like 40 minutes or something like that, you know. Let's not have a game like that. Like, be go out there and be ready for it. Um, and if they can do that, honestly, I think they'll be okay. But they've got to play the full 60 tonight. They really do. Be smart with the shot selection. Again, I do want them to put up a lot of shots tonight be, so they can take advantage of just of the fact that Columbus does allow the most goals in the East take advantage of that but again be smart in your shot selection don't just shoot to shoot make sure you're shooting the score that's going to be important here obviously power play and penalty killing of course um penalty killing obviously been really good this year power play has been really good as well so all the pieces are there 
on paper, you know, for them, you know, to be getting this win tonight. Everything is there on paper. It's just going to be a matter of them going out and doing it. Plain and simple. That that's it tonight. They just got to put everything together tonight. On paper, they are totally supposed to win this game. It's just a matter of doing it. And I fully I'm fully confident in them being able to do it. It's just a matter of it happening at this point. Uh, we just got to get to game time and and see what happens tonight. Obviously, I'm looking forward to it. I know you guys are as well, so make sure you're following along at LO underscore Hurricanes, myself at Jared Ellis underscore 96. Subscribe on YouTube. Leave a comment in the comments down there. And as always, folks, let's go Canes.